Greetings and welcome, everyone. Garrett here with another Battlegrounds clip for you all. If you're an Angry Chicken fan, you may have heard me mention on a recent episode uh, that I had an absolutely insane game with the newly buffed Lich King. And while I think this game is a pretty good example of Arthas's buffed hero power, um, really, I just wanted to share this game with you because it may be the luckiest I have ever gotten in Hearthstone Battlegrounds. It was just an embarrassment of riches once I got up into the uh, upper tiers of this game. And so, well, uh, please enjoy seeing Arthas's new hero power, well, new, well, same hero power, but buffed free hero power on display and really sit back, relax, and enjoy me having no idea what to do with so many freaking powerful minions. All right, so let's snap pick that Lich King and get straight into this game. Now, this was my very first game with the Lich King since his, uh, since his buff. And actually, I want to say this is my only game with the Lich King since his buff. Yes. Yes, it is. It's, it's been a bit, actually, since I played this game. So uh, my memory is a little foggy as to uh, the decisions I made and why I made them. So uh, I'll be just as surprised by my play as you will. A little bit behind the scenes, uh, behind the curtain note here. Uh, a lot of times I, I just, I play games whenever I can fit them in during the day. Um, that's why I don't, I don't really stream. And so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try and remind myself to hit record. Um, but it means a lot of the times I'm not, I'm not super try harding. Um, I'm not paying full attention. As I mentioned with my last video, sometimes I'm you know, texting or planning a podcast on the side. Uh, so you're almost always going to see me make some dumb play. But uh, I loved I loved me trying to figure out the hero power last turn. Like, wait, it's it's free. I could just like, why wouldn't I use it? So it makes it makes one to grab a one one with divine shield on turn one uh, a lot more enticing. And so I'm uh, I'm not too sure on you know whether Arthas is the type of hero I want to just level up the two immediately on turn two or not. But uh, I decided to go ahead and grab the grab the token and, and hope for the best. And the best definitely happens because when I go ahead and find myself a very early triple. I'm going to pull up the Lich King statistics on the side here. So, oh, wow. It looks like uh, Maiev has actually overtaken the Lich King as the number one hero if you uh, sort over on HS Replay by the top 20% of the player base, meaning uh, MMR 7,600 and above. That's interesting. They're very, very close, though. So, I actually ended up losing that one. But, uh, you know, it's Edwin. Ed Edwin gonna Edwin. And I did not exactly have stats on board. Just more bodies than I should have. And now, knowing me, I uh, probably don't triple this turn. Yeah, okay. Didn't think so. I would be very mad at myself if I had decided to triple this turn. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, buy one of them. One of these protectors, at the very least. This was a turn I was, uh, you know, just looking at. I was like, I'm not going to win this. That helped. That Murloc has too much health. But uh, reborn on Divine Shield minions, it has gives you a lot of gas. And now I'm trying to decide: do I just level up or do I just go for the gold? I decided to just go for the gold because I didn't really want. I wasn't stoked about the other one star minions. And uh, probably just going to go for the rat pack. Yep. I am not an idiot. Again, my first game. My first game with rat pack. It was, uh, or uh, my first game with Lich King. So it took me a second to realize, oh, yeah, uh, a rat pack this early. Uh, especially since, again, this is this is post-patch. So rat pack's now a tier three with, uh, with Reborn is probably really freaking good. And I started at, I believe it was right around this point, I started thinking about how exciting it would be uh, to find a pack leader. And all of the, the freedom that being able to get my minions reborn would afford me if, if I was able to find a pack leader. God, that's just, that is just so gross. That rat pack just coming back, like, like what, what could Cindergosa do? Ah, oh, I guess I have a juggler, but it's turn four. I can have a juggler. You're not going to snipe that hyena early. 
What are you what are you gonna do? What are you freaking gonna do? And so it's turn five. Should just probably level up on curve. It seems like I'm thinking about it. I did level up uh, to two on turn three instead of turn two, so I don't have enough gold to just buy a minion and level up. But uh, turns out a 3-3 three, three with a death rattle uh, spawn a 1-1 one, one is better than just a 1-1. One, one. So, And I'm really just going to lean on giving Reborn to my to my Rat Pack here in the uh, as we, as we kind of turn into the mid game. There's just no reason not to. So this next one will be going up against Reno, who also got buffed, also enjoying a free hero power after this patch. I've played a few games with Reno, none that were really uh, cast-worthy, but I like the change a lot. Reno was, uh, when he originally was added with the most expensive version of his hero power he's, he's ever had, I really liked him. One of my favorite heroes, uh, even though he, he did not launch particularly powerful I really enjoy just being able to make a minion gold. But now I love him to death now that I don't have to spend a single gold to turn a, uh, a minion into a triple. And so I'm just going to pick up another really solid win here. It's just Lich King is so good. We didn't even have to use the, uh, the Reborn there or Reno. Not really having the strongest board. So turn six is a little early to be going up to tier four. Find that pack leader I was uh, I was kind of daydreaming about earlier. I think I'm gonna decide, do I want to roll? Do I want to grab the divine shield? Decide to roll. Juggler wouldn't be a terrible idea, seeing as I the imp prisoner on my board already. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but does have an extremely high combat win rate uh, this early into uh, a Battlegrounds game. I'm gonna decide to roll again. That would be tempting to freeze that uh, that other soul juggler. And I always get excited when I see the uh, the, the three gold pirate as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if Pass Garrett froze here. Because the other, the other reason I'd be very surprised if I didn't freeze here is that next turn, I'm going to want to level and I'm going to have just enough gold to buy a single minion without selling anything off my board. And I still have a minion slot. So, throwing Reborn on the Imprisoner uh, seems kind of cute. I wasn't out. sure about it. wasn't sure if this is what I actually wanted to do. But as you can see from the, uh, the win percentage up top, it's going to turn out just fine. It's going to be even better because that bomb didn't hit our Soul Juggler. And so, it's going to afford us uh, four juggles off of our Soul Juggler. In fact, going to guarantee it because of how... Uh, Quickly, the imprisoners died, so all of our imps are going to attack and die before we, our attacks move on down the line. Surprise, it didn't freeze, but now I get a second rat pack for my trouble, so it ended up working out. Past me was uh, was more uh, was practicing divination. Now I want to say I got a little distracted and wasn't sure what I wanted to put my reborn on. No, well, decided to go for the imprisoner again. Which was, that was a misplay. Because there's a very good chance that the uh, Imp Prisoner will die first before any extra space is made on board. And therefore, I'm not going to get any value out of my Resurrect. Though I have to say, I was feeling pretty powerful at this point. Only turn seven, have two Rat Packs on board. One of them has five attack uh, with a, a, a freaking a pack leader. And all that jazz. But let's see what uh, Mr. Bigglesworth has. Played quite a few more games with Mr. Bigglesworth since last I did one of these videos. I really like the hero. I always do well with Mr. Bigglesworth. I have a pretty uh, pretty solid win rate with him. So I was praying that this didn't hit my Imprisoner. It, of course, did. So we're going to get no reborn value. But uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. We even, uh, we even lose our Soul Juggler earlier than we would like to. And so now I'm just hoping that doesn't go into the pack leader. Oh, of course it is going to. It doesn't matter. We're going to spawn so many effing rats. It's, it's irrelevant. We win anyway. Has to be the strongest turn seven board I've had all month. It's just crazy. 
good at this. And so now my mind is going, hmm. Do I do I just level early? Do we just go to five? I mean, I didn't find a triple, so probably won't. If I know myself, and I do, I only really get excited about early leveling if I happen to have a triple just waiting. Seems to be a classic case of Garrett isn't paying attention while he plays. That is a less than stellar board. Tempted to go for the double Zeris and hope I can meme my way into a triple, but not going to happen. Decided to pick up the Cave Hydra because I still have a pack leader on board. Why not? Why not get that attack value? And hopefully my brain goes, you know, Garrett, you kind of have a Menagerie comp. You could consider the Jug. I mean, not really. I, I guess I have, I have mostly beasts and one demon. So I would miss out on one of the three buffs out of the Jug. Suffering some indecision here. And I'm not gonna get that. Let's see if you can stay on Bummer town, population me. Be decisive, people. That's the moral of this story. Even if you are as far ahead as I am, you want to be decisive. So Juggly's gonna get nerfed before, or, uh, get nerfed, get uh, get sniped before we get maximum value out of him. But again, this has got to be some of the best Rat Pack luck that I have experienced in a very, very long time. We're gonna get maximum value out of our Rat Pack. Not gonna get maximum value out of our reborn rat pack, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it died or it lived. That was two stars worth of damage going to Flurgle, and we keep our first place spot. Now, once again, I would probably be considering leveling up. Now that I found a triple, I bet I would. Yep, windmill slam that. Don't need to worry about the juggler anymore. We're not winning based on our juggler. Knowing me, knowing me. I love Amalgadons and their beasts, so Amalgadon's gonna get buffed by our pack leader. And we get Poisonous Divine Shield. What more could you possibly ask for? Well, apparently also Spores, but... I was so happy about that. That is such a great get on freaking turn 9. Divine Shield, Poisonous, Amalgadon. So now I'm just thinking to myself, what do I want for my, for my positioning? Don't do that, by the way. Reborn minions do not get the buffs. I had forgotten about this for a moment. Also going against Finley, though, it does not look like they're doing particularly well. So once again, I will probably not play optimally Let's and still completely on face. Mm-hmm. 98% chance to win. I really uh, don't think those attacks could have gone uh, any better. <laughs> even even snipe the buffing pirate. Uh, I don't think, I, I apologize everyone, I don't think you're going to learn anything from watching this video. It's just uh, uh, hang out with Garrett while things go exceptionally well for him. That's the name of, that's the name of this video. So if I'm being a smart man, I will also remember that the Amalgadon counts as whatever minion I wanted to count as, and Jug would once again not be a terrible pickup. But I was extremely indecisive this game. Couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I had to roll past that for some reason. So, oh, because I was feeling lucky, which was really just the feeling of this entire game. Feeling lucky? I'm feeling lucky. Let's discover a tier six minion. And normally I'd go for the Tide Razor, but I've got this just beautiful beast thing going on and just thought to myself, well, why wouldn't I want more poison? I think I'm gonna consider freezing here because the Dire Horn actually fits pretty nicely into our little comp here. Decide, yes, yes, I am going to do it. Thinking, maybe you should Houndmaster first, pass Garrett. You should probably Houndmaster first, pass Garrett. Mm, you're not gonna do it. No, you're not. Things were just going so effing well for me that uh, I was thinking it was probably worth more to resurrect a poisonous than to try and really, really squeak some extra value out of a out of a rat pack. Because once the first rat pack pops, like that board, the board's just that board's going to infinitely be full, and the spores on the amalgadon uh, really exacerbate that concern. Which uh, I completely under yes, I do hear myself. Um, 
stupid concern. Like, it, it sounds like I'm complaining about, oh, man. We have too many awesome things going on. My board is so full all the time. What a terrible experience to have. But it's still worth noting. And that's why I'm putting my reborns where I'm putting them. After also reminding myself that that's right, you should not reborn the Amalgadon. It doesn't come back with his buffs. Yep. Yeah, pick up the Dire Horn. Don't think I want anything there. Could have discovered a Murloc because the Amalgadon counts as a Murloc. Counts as everything! But not really any Murlocs I'm looking for, seeing as the, uh, the Amalgadon already has Poisonous. We're just going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned inefficient turn. That's what we're going to have. Do I freeze for the pair on the Hydra here? I don't usually like doing that. But again, things have been going so well for me. At this point, I was starting to think, you know, I'm at five. I'm still not on six. Mama Bear is what I'm really looking for. And that's about it. Like Mama Bear is as good as it's going to get on the tier that I'm on. And yeah, there it is. I decide to freeze for the Hydra, which uh, a little surprised about. Probably going to taunt up my Amalgam here because I would like to start getting rid of the Imp Risener. And I think this is the point where I realize, yeah, why don't I just buy the freaking Dire Horn now and move on with my life and not waste an, a, a free roll on a, on a pair up of a Cave Hydra. That's something I would just rather keep in my hand anyway. I don't really want to deploy both of them. Finally get some Hydra value there. So this is the first board that looked like it was going to give us some trouble. I don't actually remember how this one hands out. Oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to lose this one. Yes, we are. We are indeed mortal, everybody. We are mortal. It's delightful. The Lich King can be killed. Really wanted a mama bear. Not that I particularly needed it. Had assembled quite the powerful board already. Oh, I should have picked up the pair up on the pack leader. What was I doing? I Said to myself, yeah, I should probably just start grabbing buffs because these rolls aren't going, uh, they aren't going wonderfully. Get a second chance to pair up on the pack leader at least. Decide to go for it. If I were me, I would put this on the Cape Hydra. There's been multiple turns now where it was close to getting uh, some pretty good value, but it wasn't quite there on the attack amount. And it would be very nice if at the very least it uh, it would snipe a Baron, uh, at least a, you know, a vanilla Baron, if anyone had it. Those two do tend to get put next to Divine Shield Taunters because they have such a high health. So it's always nice if you can get your Cape Hydra to, uh, to seven attack. I guess I decided to freeze for the pair up on the dire horn there. For you. Watch out. Ah, we find who has our mama bear. It's like Reno still had his hero power available to him. Really? Let me know in the comments if that's how that works out. I haven't really thought about this before, but I would I would assume if it's not available to him, it would be it would be flipped over. And he certainly should have used it here because, uh, well, he's dead. Very, very dead. I'm not sure a Golden Mama Bear would have saved him. Probably not. And so we get to the final three. Nice work, and if you think to yourself, this is going too well for Garrett. Well, building, you ain't Go seen nothing yet. Because what if, what if I got another golden? Why not, right? Math is hard, everybody. Math is very hard. Come out and play. Not going to get our, uh, or, or Goldrin, but we are going to pair up on the Amalgadon. 
was mildly annoyed that I didn't find the divine shield there, but that's, I mean, <laughs> how mad can I really be with how well this game has been going? I think I may have literally put my feet up on my desk at this point because I was, I was just feeling so safe behind this wall of Everyone's two poisonous dying. amalgadons and a Myaxna that actually has an attack value. As if she needs one. That is a very big Hydra. But what does it matter? What does it matter when you have a Myaxna with Reborn? That's just going to take out all of your big minions because your big minions all have taunt. We are, however, not going to take out the Edwin here. I'm going to leave Edwin alive to warn the others. Tell the others what you saw here, Edwin. Since we're going against Reno, who we beat rather handily last time and also took out of the game. We know exactly what board he's going to have. Felt like as safe a time as ever to go up to six stars and start rolling. And oh, there's the Goldrin. Finally. Finally found it. So we're just going to freeze and uh, we're just going to take a one minute lap. We're just going to take a minute lap while we wait to see. Uh, if Edwin can survive the Bigglesworth, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, he probably can't. He probably can't. It's going to be real mean to Reno here and bust through his ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking very much of Ghostbusters right now, seeing as... Uh, we have two hurricanes about to cross the streams here in Florida. And did Edwin survive to live another day? He did. I have to say, I did not see that coming. We took him out rather handily. I guess he did have some very, very, very large minions. So I think to myself, I mean, why not take a gas coiler? It's a beast, right? Oh, come on, pass me. Don't make current me look like a fool. Take the gas coiler. Take the gas coiler. Take the gas coiler. You know you want to take the gas coiler. Come on. Thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah, you do. And there's a second Goldrin. And clearly we want the uh, we want the Rat Pack, right? Thinking to myself. Thinking to myself. This is where I start to kind of scratch my head. I'm not sure, like, what what's best here? Probably want to get rid of the pack leader, which means I want to deploy the gas cooler before I sell the pack leader and immediately roll into a triple on a cave hydra that I can't afford, so I'm going to freeze for it because we have both have Bigglesworth and Edwin, which means Edwin is going against Reno. He's definitely going to win the Reno, so there's at least one more round of this lobby to go. I'm going to go right back to reborning my Myxna. And, oh, this is looking dire. A 6% chance to win we get a boat off of the gas coiler oh goodness me that is lucky oh but he gets a baron with Kangor's apprentice is actually an amazing get I don't remember how this goes does he end up getting he does he gets baron value at, well no he doesn't no he doesn't at all because there wasn't there wasn't enough uh, board spaces, and so I'm just crossing my fingers, crossing my fingers that my Cave Hydra does not get sniped here. Oh! Oh, we get Cave Hydra value. Oh, that's not enough, though. We are actually going to take another L. Two Bigglesworths, but we're not dead. We're not dead yet. We're only going to take 13, go down to 16. We're perfectly fine. Edwin is still in the game, means we're going to have to fight him next and send Bigglesworth to sharpen... Uh, his his claws against Reno's ghost. That's okay. We knew on the other side of this that we had a triple. We had a triple cave hydra. Just waiting in the wings. And oh my god. We're going to triple up on an amalgam. I think I was him and hawing for half a second. Because I was like, I don't think I want to combine these. But I also tripled into a gold drain. And at this point, I was just like, I love gold. Why not? Just do it. Oh, and look at this. I found another Amalgadon for my trouble, so I can actually triple off of this, but I actually decided to pick up a second Myaxna because I'm going to combine here, so I'm going to lose a Poisonous. I'm not guaranteed to get the Poisonous off of a second Amalgadon, but who gives a crap because I just found another one. This turn 
was the most ridiculous thing that has ever happened to me in a single game of Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I actually, I don't know. I don't know what the right play was there, but I only had so much time to make my decisions uh, and to discover everything. And so I decided that, yeah, I guess we're gonna go for two of my exes because as you see here, I was like, well, I'm not guaranteed to get a poisonous off of the amalgam, but I found another freaking amalgam. So I just drop it, but I don't get the poisonous on it. Let's see. But that, that, is, uh, that is quite all right. We're gonna go right back against the Edwin, who apparently we have all but a sure chance to win against. Hydra just doing work. All of our poisonous minions getting through all of his. <laughs> his massive, massive taunt minion is just gonna try and snipe my Myax now. And Edwin put up a good fight. He even managed to take a, a, a win off of uh, off of Bigglesworth, which I'm still not too sure how, seeing as we've been losing to Bigglesworth. But at this point, I'm cackling maniacally, half paying attention, thinking, well, it's it's just, that's it. It's not going to get any better than that. Why not pick up a Baron, see what dumb assery can happen. There, finally, Mama Bear shows up on turn 17. It's too late, Mama Bear. You're no longer invited to this party. You should have RSVP'd sooner. At this point, I think I was just looking for a Toxfin. But I, I'm i not sure what I would have sold had I found it. Uh, maybe the small Myaxna, because uh, Divine Shield Poisonous is better than just a Poisonous. And I've already got another Myaxna on board, so I could just... Again, I have a good reborn target, even though previous turn against the Edwin, I decided to throw it on my gas coiler for just maximum death rattle value. So I want to get the Baron in at this point. We have a golden Goldrin. We want a Baron. We, we want a Baron. I almost thought about getting rid of the Cave Hydra, but then I realized, you know, I'm good. Because that cave, the, the, the cave hydra is going to be massive with this golden goldron. And it's going to pop off right away. Come back for the resurrect. Pop off again. Double buff my whole board. And we're going to have a 52 attack cave hydra swinging in for all of the damage in the world. Does manage to take out my amalgams with, with little pomp and circumstance. But here, here you have it, everyone. Gaze upon my board and despair. The luckiest game of Battlegrounds I've ever had. I've never had that many golden six-star minions before. It was just absolutely insane. I had a great time. The new Lich King is extremely, extremely powerful. Probably looking at some sort of nerf in the near future. But he's, Maiev is right there with him. So we will have to see. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Please also go subscribe to the Angry Chicken Podcast wherever podcasts can be found. I'll see you next time. Job's done.